Good morning, dear students. So I welcome you in the lecture of microengineering. So in this particular lecture, we will discuss about the micro tubes. So I will take the pen first, and uh, we will discuss about this. In the micro tube, in the previous lecture, we have discussed about the advantages of micro tube over the um, conventional tubes. So if you have not watched the video, so please go through the playlist, and you can enjoy the video. that video in that i have explained what are the advantages what are the construction of the micro tube and how they are differ from the conventional your micro tubes how they are different so if you are not subscribe my channel please click on the subscribe button and you are getting the latest update of each and every video which i have uploaded on my channel you can browse browse to the playlist and you can watch the videos of edc micro engineering and discrete time signal processing in the single youtube channel okay so what are exactly types of micro tubes we will discuss about it. so as far as these micro tubes are there there are two types are there that is nothing the linear beam okay and this is nothing the cross field linear beam is nothing but the single beam is there of electron okay and in the cross field you will find uh, the beam is uh, moving like this one uh, just a minute where is my pen okay it is rotating like this one or it will rotate like this one in the cross field so as far as the linear beam there are two two types that is nothing but the resonant cavity okay and slow wave structure non resonant one so in the resonant cavity there are two amplifiers the klystron amplifier first type and that is second type is nothing but the reflex klystron there are two types in the slow wave structure you will find the forward wave then the helix and the W two, okay. and the back wave, you will find a W B V W back wave of amplifier and back wave oscillator. There are the two types of again cross field amplifier. There are two types that is the magnetron and CFA also. So in your syllabus, you have to learn about this type. Then the flex crystal, then uh, helix T W T. Then we have to discuss about the back wave of amplifier. Then magnetron so hold on okay so in the cross field amplifier what exactly it means the orthogonal electric field and the magnetic fields are there that is nothing but the, they are 90 degree apart from each other orthogonality is nothing but the 90 degree apart from each other so electric field and magnetic field are uh, orthogonal to each other okay like mm, magnetron and cfa that's for as is uh, as It is low power amplifier in the coherent MTI. MTI means movie target indicator radar, the pulse compression radar, and pulse Doppler radar. So we are using this. The magnetron is used in the our day-to-day -day life. We are using micro oven, so we are using magnetron oven. In the linear beam, continuous electron beam is interact in the interaction region means klystron and TWT means. Continuous electron beam is there. Okay, continuous. This is anode and this is a cathode. So continuous electron beam is carried out over here. Okay, and uh, okay. This is the RF conversion. We will discuss about this later on. So what exactly meant by velocity modulation that we will see? Velocity modulation is the thing in which what we are doing. Suppose there are three kinds of electron. One electron is having highest velocity. One is having a normal. What is the exact? required and this is the slowest electron so what we are doing we are passing this to the one bunch of grid itself bunch of grid so we are actually whatever the electron is there that is having a higher velocity we are deaccelerating this whatever electron is having moderate whatever the exact one so we are not doing anything with this and the electron which is having slower electron velocity we are accelerating it so at the one point we are bunching the electron okay the bunching of electron is carried out mm. bunching we will see and klystron uh, and that uh, in the next lecture i will discuss about what so what we are doing in this case suppose this is the fastest electron okay the electron is fastest one electron one So what we are doing? Suppose the electron we are we know that is having negative polarity. No okay, negative polarity. That is negative negative potential over there. So if we are applying such kind of potential over there, so negative field is there. So this is a negative electron. So it will get deaccelerated. So the 
What is the electron is there? That is deaccelerated. Second one, we are not doing anything with this electron. So electron its uh, velocity is unchanged over there. In the third case, we are changing the polarity of this uh, bunched cavity. So what will happen if we are applying a negative potential and here positive potential over there? So electron is there. So what will happen with this electron? The rate is getting accelerated. The electron will get accelerated. So these three electron are there. There we are bunching one. So what we are doing? At one point, we are bunching the three electron. That is nothing but the lowest one. Okay, by deaccelerating, so first one by deaccelerating. Second way case, we are not doing anything with the whatever the appropriate electron, and the third electron, we are accelerating that electron. So these three cases, and we are forming the bunching and at the bunched cavity. Okay. So this is the bunching process over there. So we are forming the bunches. So these are then because the grids are there, electrons are passing over there, and here here you will find. The here you will find the bunches. Here you will find the bunches of electron, and the bunching of that electron we are carried out. We are taking the energy from that bunching. So there are two um, cavities are there. As far as uh, any uh, linear beam structure is there, that is the bunching bunching cavity and the catcher cavity. In the catcher cavity, we are taking the energy from the electrons. Energy from the electrons in the bunching cavity, we are forming the bunches of electrons over there. Bunches of electrons. So here you will find the bunches of electrons, here you will find bunches of electrons. And the space in between these two is called a drift space. Is called a drift space. Drift is nothing but forcefully we are moving. Forcefully we are moving. That is nothing but whatever the electron is having higher velocity, we are accelerating them. Whatever the electron is having lower acceleration, we are accelerating them. So we are doing this thing. So uh, this is all about today's lecture. So we will uh, stop over here in this particular lecture and uh, we will discuss <coughs> the two cavity crystal amplifier in the next class. So thank you very much for attending this lecture. Thank you.